Boom. Right, ten points for this starter question. Written in 1819, whilst he was living in Italy, Shelley's poem, The Mask of Anarchy, was his furious response to learning of which event in England? St. Andrew's Newton. The Peterloo Massacre. Yes, it was, yes. Uh, now, that Coldplay track was, as I mentioned, Lovers in Japan. Your music bonuses are three more popular tracks that feature the name of a country in the title. In each case, I want you to identify the band and the country. Firstly... When I lie there wide away For my son I may Any country. Any country. Any country. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers and Mexico. No, it's Red Hot Chili Peppers and Ethiopia. <laughs> uh, secondly, yesterday I spent asleep. Woke up in my clothes in a dirty heap. Nice voice, but I, I can't place it. Spend the night. It's a cutting miserable for me. <laughs> Squeeze a complicated life. I think you know it's it's not it's big from Leicester. I don't know. I'm not even going to think of it. Hmm. Hello. Uh, no, not even a wild swing, I'm afraid. That's you two cedars of Lebanon. And finally. Yeah, yeah, Arcade Fire in Canada? No, it is Arcade Fire, but it's Haiti. Right, ten points for this. Listen carefully, answer as soon as you buzz. A car accelerates from rest at ten metres per second squared for a period of five seconds. How far has it travelled? Banger right. Stevens. Two, two kilometres. No. St Andrews? St Andrews Newton. 25 metres. No, it's 125 metres. Right, ten points for this. Answer as soon as you buzz. Which words would appear first and last if the colours of the rainbow were written in alphabetical order? St Andrew's grey. Blue and violet. No, thank you. Grant. Blue and yellow is correct, yes. Your bonuses, Banger, are on volcanic rocks. From the Greek for fire and broken, what specific term describes igneous rocks made solely or primarily of volcanic material? Pyroclastic. Correct. Ultimately, from the Latin for smooth, what Italian word is used for rocks composed largely of pyroxene and plagioclase feldspar that are formed from molten magma cooled beneath the Earth's surface? Say it again. Cabro. Cabro. No, I can't accept that. Uh, you, he obviously had the right answer, but you misheard him. It's Gabbro. And finally, volcanic tuff is a light porous rock chiefly consisting of the consolidation of what volcanic material? Ash. Ash is correct, yes. Right, ten points for this. Countess Olenska, Newland Archer and May Welland are characters in which novel by Edith Wharton? In 1993, it was adapted into a film starring... St Andrew's the Newton. The Age of Innocence. The Age of Innocence is right. Right, your bone assistant, Andrews, are on long stage works. David Edgar's eight-and-a-half-hour adaptation of which novel by Charles Dickens became the longest play ever produced when it appeared on the London stage in 1980? David Copperfield? No, it was Nicholas Nickleby. An epic about the Trojan War, which cycle of ten plays by John Barton is named after the legendary king of Sipilus and father of Pelops and Niobe? Actis? No, it's Tantalus. And finally, comprising the plays Voyage, Shipwreck and Salvage, the Coast of Utopia is a 2002 trilogy of around nine hours in total by which dramatist? Any dramatist Maybe Stoppard. Oh, I think it is. Tom Stoppard? Correct. Ten points for this starter question. The name of what animal denotes those latitudes characterised by calms and light... Bank horse Stevens. latitudes. Horse latitudes is correct, yes.
These bonuses, Banger, are on science fiction. Which US author who died in 2009 created the planet Riverworld on which everyone who has ever lived comes back to life, leading to meetings such as the one between Mark Twain and Cyrano de Bergerac? Pass. It's Philip Jose Farmer. Secondly, for five points, the egalitarian world of Anares is the setting of which novel by Ursula K. Le Guin, subtitled An Ambiguous Utopia? Earthsea. No, it's The Dispossessed. Purpose-built space habitats known as orbitals are the home of billions of inhabitants in the culture novels of which Scottish author? Ian M. Banks. Ian M. Banks. Correct. Right, you're going to take a second picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a painting. Ten points if you can identify the artist. Sir Dadros Newton. Is it Matisse? No one of you may buzz from Bangor. Bangor Stevens. Raphael. No, it's by Picasso. It's called The Source. So, picture bonuses shortly. Another starter question in the meantime. Listen up, fingers on the buzzers. The G6 Economic Forum of six countries was joined by Canada in 1976 and then by which other country in 1998? St. Andrews Newton. Russia. Russia is correct, yes. <laughs> so you saw Picasso's The Source for the picture starter. It's been on display at Tate Britain in 2012 as part of an exhibition illustrating the influence of Picasso on modern British art. For your picture bonuses, you're going to see three 20th century paintings by British artists featured in that exhibition. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly... Anything. Gormley. Gormley. Anthony Gormley? Ross is stuck. No, it's Wyndham Lewis, the vortices. Secondly... Nothing. That's Duncan Grant's The Tub, and finally, this artist. Yeah, it's anyone we know, so. <laughs> Francis Baker. No, it's Francis Bacon, his uh, crucifixion. Right, another starter question. Troilite, thought to be the probable mineral of the Earth's core, is a variety of an iron sulphide mineral and is found in abundance in which objects? Sir Dandrews Newton. I like meteorites. Correct. <laughs> you could retake the lead with these uh, bonuses. They're on physics. What physical quantity is equivalent to momentum flux or stress expressed in SI base units as kilograms per metre per second squared? Thrust. Thrust. Kilograms per metre. So it sounds like thrust or torque. What do you think? It sounds like acceleration. Thrust. No, it's pressure. What manometric unit of pressure is equal to 1.33 millibars? Oh, I was going to say, I guess a pascal. That's pressure, isn't it? Yeah. A pascal? No, it's tor or a millimetre of mercury. And finally, if the weather is such that standard atmospheric pressure obtains at sea level, at what integer number of kilometres altitude would you experience a pressure of about 600 tor? Let's have it, please. 60. 60 kilometers? No, it's two. Ten points for this. In Holometabolus insects, what term denotes the resting stage during which larvae transform into adults? Uh, Anka Tomlinson. Uh, pupae. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on classical music, Banger. In 1796, which Austrian composer wrote Mass in Time of War as Napoleon was advancing on Vienna, where the Mass was to be performed? Haydn. Correct. The Battle of Poltava features in Mazeppa, an opera first performed in 1884 by which Russian composer? Borodin? No, it's Tchaikovsky. Wellington's Victory, or the Battle of Vittoria, is an orchestral work of 1813 by which composer? Name a British composer. 
We don't know, sorry. It's by Beethoven. Less than three minutes, ten points for this. The Russian port of Rostov lies on the River Don, near its point of entry into which inland sea? St. Andrews Newton! Black Sea. No, you lose five points. Separated from the Black Sea by the Crimea. Thank you, Tomlinson. The Sea of Azov. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses, Banger, are on rings. Three rings discovered by the Voyager 1 spacecraft in 1979 and initially distinguished as Halo, Main and Gossamer are a feature of which planet of the solar system? Uranus. No, it's Jupiter. Four rings of gold braid with a loop in the upper ring form part of the insignia of which senior rank in the Royal Navy? Commodore. Nominate Stevens. Admiral of the Fleet. No, it's Captain. Five rings appear on the flag of the Olympic movement, each a different colour. Name all five colours. Black, red, yellow, green, blue. Black, red, yellow, green, blue. Correct. Right, another starting question. In mathematics, for which positive integer n is the nth root of n largest? St. Andrew's Newton. One. Banger. I guess Two. Evans. No, it's three. <laughs> Ten points for this. Name the US state that lies between two other states, all three of which have names beginning with the letter I. St. Andrew's Gray. Idaho. Anyone want to bust from Banger? Banger Grant. Indiana. No, it's Illinois. Ten points for this. Part of the Messner Mountain Museum project, the Museum in the Clouds is located at over 2,000 metres above sea level in which Italian mountain range? St Andrew's Parsons. Uh, the Dolomites. Correct. These bonuses are on an institution, St Andrews. Established through the Constitutional Reform Act of 2005, what body came into existence on October the 1st, 2009 to replace the Appellate Committee of the House of Lords? The High Court of the Judiciary? No, it's the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. The Supreme Court is based in which early 20th century neo-Gothic building on Parliament Square, opposite the Palace of Westminster? Pass. It's Middlesex Guildhall. Of the first 12 Supreme Court justices to be appointed, who is the only woman? Baroness Farsi. Baroness Farsi, she's chairman of the Conservative Party. Yes, Baroness Hale. <laughs> Ten points for this. What is the common name of songbirds of the genus Motacilla? British species include the yellow, grey and pied. St Andrew's Grey. Jackhammer. Oh, no, anyone want to buzz from Bangor? Bangor Grot. Thrush? No, they're wagtails. Ten points for this. What short word links a Central American Republic, a city of West Texas on the Rio Grande, and a fabled city of gold sought by the Spanish Constitution? St Andrew's Adams. L. L is correct. Your bonus is this time. And that was wrong. St Andrews have 105. Banger have 125. You have to come back a bit too late, I think, St Andrews. We shall have to say goodbye to you, but thank you for joining us. Uh, we should look forward to seeing you in round two, Banger. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from St Andrews University. Bye. It's goodbye from Bangor University. Bye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>